Elijah was accused yet again of stealing someone else's music. Layton Green, who was a rising R&B singer and signed to Quality Control, tweeted, they're trying to copy my flow. Now, allegedly, Layton Green fans are saying that Queen Naja stole her song. The song that they're referring to is a song that I played in my previous video, which I'm gonna have to take that video down and put that song in this video because YouTube is not gonna allow me to get away with that twice. Now, to hear Layton Green's version is on my Instagram. The link to that is pinned in the comments. Now, before I explain this fully, Queen Naja definitely did an amazing job at Soul Train BT Awards 2019. That's what we wanna hear from her. That's how I want it, okay? Now, if we could take that whole performance and put it on her album, yes! This is what I'm talking about. This is what I want from Queen Naja. And I know that she wants to do it. I'm not saying that Queen Naja is falling off. I think a lot of people misinterpret the last video. Now, let's get back into this video because yet again, Queen Naja is being accused of stealing music. And that is definitely not the case. Any song that Queen has come out with, she has written herself. What they're arguing is the background music. They're saying the background music sounds similar to Leighton Green's background music, which is true. This same similar situation happened with the Medicine song when the guy was saying that Queen stole his quote unquote music. Now there's a company, which there's several companies that own background music. Now what artists and producers do, they go on a website and they listen to different background music and they choose which one they like. Now, whichever one they actually like, they purchase from this bigger company that actually owns the song. And what the producer and artist is doing, they're licensing the song, meaning that the song is not yours, you don't own it. Other people can purchase the same song and use the same beat, but you're licensing it so it could be on your album. So Queen nor Layton Green owns the song. They're actually just licensing the song. And when they both upload the song, you're gonna see on the licensing, the company that they purchased the song from, meaning that they do not own the song. Now, if Queen happened to steal lyrics off of Layton's album, then she can sue Queen. I just wanted to make that clear because every time somebody hear a Queen Aja song, they always compare it to another song and say that she's stealing. She is not stealing music. Any song that Queen has come out with, she either wrote or co-wrote with somebody that she's paying. Now leave your comments down below. Let me know what you're thinking. Take the poll that's popping up. Which version of the song do you like? And until next time, peace. Queen Naja just released a snippet of her new song, a possible new song, and it made me think because things she said in the song, I wanted to know from y'all, is it true? Now I'm gonna play a verse. Y'all take the poll popping up. Let me know what you think. They told me that I'm running out of time. I ain't lit no more. Now as a person, do you think Queen is still lit or do you think she is falling off? Say my music getting weak, it don't hit no more. Now, musically, do you still like Queen's music or do you think she should work harder?